want to make your own, let me tell you about Anchor. It's free. The creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Now you can even add any song from Spotify directly into your episodes. The possibilities are endless for what you can create, whether it's music analysis, your own radio show or something the world's never heard before. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. Plus, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum (laughs) listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So guys, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Anchor is sponsoring another ad. Guys, do you like this show and want to make your own? Let me tell you about Anchor. Anchor is free. And there's certain tools that allow you to record and edit right from your phone or computer. Best of all, with Anchor, you can add any songs from Spotify directly to your episodes. And who doesn't like songs? The possibilities are endless for what you can create, whether it's music analysis, your own radio show, a deep dive on your favorite genre or artist, or something the world's never heard before, like Ilya's name. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Anchor will even help publish your show to Spotify so you can reach hundreds of millions of listeners. Guys, if you have an idea for a show with music, Get started by downloading the free Anchor app or going to anchor.fm. If you need inspiration, head over to blog.anchor.fm slash music for some idea starters. What's up, ladies? Welcome back to the Live With Podcast. My name's Joe, and today I'm here with my co-guest host, Ilya. That's right. We're trying out a new thing where every week we're going to get a new guest host, and this just happens to be your final week. This is my last episode? Well, there's a billboard. I'm looking for a new co-host. Oh, you put one up on Sunset? Mm-hmm. Nice. What, what, what does it have on the billboard? It's a picture of my face, and then it's the MySpace picture when you don't have a photo up, and I'm saying this <laughs> could be you. It's my face, but it's, like, X'd out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to tell you, but yeah. I'm driving on Sunset Monday. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you check the bank account. There's no money in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, welcome back, everybody. I picked up pizza the other day. And it was really strange because it was like a pop-up shop. And so pop-up shops typically uh, are out of a house or out of another restaurant, right? So when you show up, it's you're not – you're like, oh, where is this place? The place was called Weirdos. And they gave me directions on where to go, and they're like, when you get there, it's a parking lot. Go to the red light. So I go to the red light. I pull up in the parking lot. It's a mechanic shop. Oh, yeah. That's where the best food is. It's, no, but, dude, it's an auto body shop. They're oh. making pizza out of an auto body shop, and I'm like, uh, like literally, they're bringing. They brought me the box to my car, and they walked out of the body shop. Oh, okay, that's different than what I thought. <laughs> Why would you think? I thought they had. I thought they were set up in the parking lot, and they no, had, <laughs> no, no, they were literally in. They're baking. I'm like, I asked the guy, I'm like, where are you guys make this? And they're like, yeah, we got ovens in the back. <laughs> so they're bringing out tires, oil, and pizza. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, how is this legal? But I'm sure they have to have some sort of, like, permit to do that where, like, they prove that they can separate the cars and the pizza. I don't fucking know. Dude, the last thing I'd want to do is get the oil switched up for the pizza in the cars. <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty hard to do, though, where it says petrol. <laughs> <laughs> you put what in the dough? <laughs> Yeah, bro, I don't know. It's fucking right next to the oil. What do you want me to do? Why is this pizza black? I used the wrong oil. Just give it to him. I used the <laughs> wrong oil. You try it. <gasps> Shit, you said olive oil? <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you meant 73 Exxon. <laughs> I don't know. It's a good stretch. <laughs> Did your high school ever have a big game called Water Wars? What, what is uh, Water Wars? Everyone who wanted to do it all talked to this one person. And this one person set everything up where they put your name on a note card and then they gave you another person's name and you had to try and go get that person soaked at any point during the day, school, out of school, oh my home, God. work, wherever you wanted to do that it. That sounds fun. You had to try and go get it. And the whoever won is the last person who never got wet. Uh-huh. And when you get soaked, you pass your card on to that person. Let's say you soak me, right? You pass your card on to me. Let's say I soak you. I take your card. Sorry. Ah, uh, I got gotcha. I take your card. Yeah. I gotcha, gotcha. Wow, that so did you ever win? And I, you just do this mid class? Like I forget who won. Like mid Spanish. People would do it in the Yo, hallways. Soy fucking just soaked. <laughs> People would do it in the hallways. They take water bottles and just squirt it all over each other, but then someone would get someone would slip on it and ruin it for everybody. So then you couldn't do it in school anymore and the, they made an announcement like no more water wars, so then you had to do it out of school. But I remember when I had this one person, his name was Taylor. And I found out he worked at the YMCA. Uh-huh. So I went to the Y and I got a tour 
the why because I oh want to quote God. sign up. <laughs> so I'm going through all the facilities, like the kids, the gym, the locker room, and then I get to the pool and I find out he's a lifeguard there. Oh, so you don't know this person? I know him, but I don't. I'm not, so like, not friends with him. I'd like high five him. Right, I was right. friends with everybody in high school. Right. So like, it was, if we passed each other, be like, yo. But I never hung out with him. Right. Right. So when I found out he was a lifeguard, I had a water bottle with me. And I'm asking him about the pool, and I'm waiting for this person to walk away. I'm like, oh, there's Taylor. Can I go say hey to him? She's like, yeah, sure. So then she finally turns around, and I just soak him at work. He's like, ha, ah, you got me. Ah, dude, that's so good. It was great. Wow, we should start that back up. Yeah, we should do it. That's great. Water Wars was so much fun. In the middle just of a meeting. Yeah. <laughs> You run in, you squirt me, and you leave. A fucking super soaker. <laughs> You're in a suit. Wow, that's good. That's a really fun game. Yeah, I urge it's like every, harmless. every high school. Because the thing, too, it brought everyone together, like all these different cliques. Like, yes. I had people, too, that I had to go get, but I never talked to them. And when you get them, it's like, oh, you got me. It's a fun thing. Right, right, right. That, that must suck getting soaked, though, you know? Well, yeah, it depends where you do it. Right, right. At a funeral. <laughs> you think the, the, the guy who's dead you have to soak him. Oh, oh that's fucked <laughs> that's fucked yeah Charlie died yesterday <laughs> you, <laughs> you have a you have a little mini pole and spring bottle you turn around to make sure no one's looking you just pour it on him his mom goes next where the fuck is Johnny soaked oh, shit dude that's funny <laughs> it's a great game though I urge every every school whatever to play it or don't you know it's not my responsibility so take it on yourselves uh gregory nimitz shut up from high school what greg okay no not that same greg uh, uh, uh gregory nimitz uh he, he he purchased an asteroid and he registered it he registered that asteroid right as his own like so he claimed that asteroid somewhere in space okay it's like a, it's an asteroid that that nasa or, or a, a governmental agency ha had discovered already. Okay. NASA landed a probe on that asteroid, and he sent NASA a ticket for them landing on his asteroid. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> and, like, when he sent the ticket in, he sent an image of the block that they parked it in. It was, like, block 24 on his asteroid. It was, like, a $20 ticket. It was really funny. Really? Did yeah. they pay it? I don't know. Dude, but... they don't want to go to space jail. <laughs> no, I mean, no, definitely not. You get a fucking warrant for your rest. <laughs> That's are, pretty cool. You can register an asteroid. Do you think people are still listening to us? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, who cares? <laughs> you know how the word Roger was invented? Mm, yes. Really? No. So back in um back in nineteen fifteen, they would have no <laughs> they would have fuck you. They would have no <laughs> they would have no um um uh, fucking guy hate you so much. <laughs> just tell I, it. I just now I know the story, but the fact that you're laughing at me makes it so much fucking harder to tell. Because you started off. Can you with just sit? Can you just sit in silence and just let me tell my story, please? You come at me hard with the strict fact. In 1915, I was like, "What do you want me to fucking do? It's a, I'm, I'm trying to tell us. I hate you. Go, the go, way go. the way Roger was invented back in 1915, there was no radio communication, and they would use Morse code from plane to the ground, and and the Morse letter that they would use is the letter R. Right. Okay. And then, as radio communication was invented, they would start using Roger because not everyone back then knew English, and Roger was easier to say than received. And now, the international aviation law requires that you have at least level four English. So, now everybody just says Roger. Um, and Roger stands for received order... Uh, wait, fuck, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh... I deleted the fucking thing. God damn it. <laughs> so what does it stand for? Roger stands for received order given expect results. Affirmative. I'm going to start saying affirmative, affirmative if you say Roger. Affirmative too. Uh, no, I'm going to say I'm going to say the whole thing. You <laughs> received order expect results. Oh shit. Received order. What did I just say? Received order expect. Ra Rar. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> Uh, no, received order, given, expect results. That's what Roger means. Uh, I'm so excited to play Call of Duty with you and say, can you go grab that flag? <laughs> <laughs> received order, given, respect results. <laughs> I'm going to say that tonight. That's really funny. I'm going to say that on I'm, I'm, I'm playing Call of Duty. And they're, and they're going to be like, what the fuck does that mean? I'm going to be like, figure it out. <laughs> and they're going to have to figure it out. It'll be like a riddle. Received order, given, respect, expect results. <laughs> and then you get blown up anyway. Yeah, and then my, my vehicle blows up.
isn't it crazy that I've texted you every day, probably for the last like 120, 160 days or so. I've texted you so much that you're actually starting to take up my memory on my phone. Really? And, yes. And I don't, honestly, I I don't know if I've ever texted anyone every day, ever. Shut up. Who have you texted every day? I did it as a goal with one of my friends, Michael, back okay, in New Unintentionally, Jersey. though. Right, yeah, I did that intentionally. Because I wanted to see if I could talk to him every day. Yeah, but and he you, didn't want me to talk to him every but day. But you and I are talking every day unintentionally. Yeah, that makes sense because when I didn't talk to you for one day, I, I felt like I was missing something and it was you. Crazy. Wow. Wait, did you text me on that day? I think I, think I called you because I wanted an excuse to talk to you. Well, no, I mean, it's every day. It's something. Even if it's one text, it's it's there. there's something coming out between you and I. I don't know. What, are you selling your, your, your Ilya bracelet? Because I don't see it on you. <laughs> right uh, you are. Okay, great. Are you wearing your Joe? Hell yeah. The only annoying part is when, when I take a shower, it's, like, wet. When I go to bed, it's, like, kind of wet. Oh, I don't shower, so. Yeah, uh, I know. <laughs> Do you think we could talk every single day for the rest of our lives? Um, we should try. On- honestly, unless we stop doing this podcast, yes. So if we stop doing this podcast and we just don't work together anymore, that that's probably going to happen. But as long as we keep doing this podcast, it's going to be every day, I feel like. That makes sense. How much of this podcast is work and how much of this is friendship i mean i think it's all friendship but like it's just work at the same time it's crazy how we can both see the same thing so opposite oh you think it's all work (laughs) all right (laughs) that's cool (laughs) you coming to work i mean uh are we hanging out today (laughs) (laughs) it's really funny yeah not really I noticed the other day you did something really fucking stupid. Classic Joe. <laughs> I don't know if I should call it stupid or like, I don't even, I'll explain it. And then I honestly don't even know why you did this. But you and I did Susie's podcast the other day. And there was a parking lot behind the the building. And you parked in the lot. And as you were coming up, you, you texted me. You texted me for the number 45. <laughs> Okay, and I was like, "This must be his spot," and I was like, "All right, whatever." So we do do her podcast. We we'll be back down. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh my god, bro! <laughs> and I'm looking at your car, and you know, sure enough, you're parked in 45. But I'm like wondering to myself, there's only 20 cars in the lot, and you're the only Corvette. So why the fuck did you text me that you're in spot? Were you gonna forget where your car was? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when you go into a place, you forget where you park. <laughs> Are you serious? That's why? <laughs> Joe. No, no, no. Because I thought that I had to pay for parking inside, so I needed my spot. Oh, okay. Thank God, dude. I was like, he's really going to forget where he parked? There's like 20 cars in this lot. There was this one time I went to a music festival, and I ended up taking this band home, and they were all getting in my car, but I was parked at New York Giant Stadium. Oh, my God. I never remember where I park. I don't know... I've been to Disneyland like 37 times. I have no idea where any of the rides are. I let everyone else take care of that stuff. I just bring the fun. You know? Totally. We spent two hours looking for my car. Yes. This band that performed at the Bamboozle (laughs) Festival had to try and find my car somewhere in the lot at Giant Stadium. That must have been fucking embarrassing. It wasn't. It wasn't because I wasn't expecting to bring someone home. Had I went into it knowing I was taking someone back, right. I would have prepared. Right, 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 right. But I was. It was more of like, yo, this is the day of my life. No bullshit. Same thing happened to me. Um, you this, took home All Star Weekend, also? No, no. Oh. Uh, in Chicago, I parked for uh, for a meeting, and you know, in in big cities, there's there's like buildings of just parking lot. You know, there's like eight stories of just parking garage. Oh, a parking garage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so I, I, so I parked, I parked in one of the garages. I parked on one of the floors and I went to my meeting. I like left the building. I left that parking garage and like walked to my meeting. That was like maybe eight buildings down, whatever. Yeah. And I come back and I can't find my car. Like I'm in the building. I'm like, this has to be the fucking building. Right. And like, I'm not getting for 45 minutes. I'm looking for my fucking car. And it turns out I wasn't even in the right building. No way. <laughs> and it was funny is that there was another garage right across from that building. That was, that was the right one. And I was like, Fuck, I'm not even looking in the right garage. I have to leave that building and go to the next one. Damn. And I, I only I only realized that it's the wrong building because I walked every floor looking for my car. And were like, you pressing the button? Uh the like the horn. The button? Honk, the no. lock? Uh yeah, I think so. I'm I must I must I don't remember. It was like two years ago. Right. But yeah, I ever I was walking I walked like all ten floors. It was like ten floors of fucking parking lot. And you know how like each floor is actually like two floors? Yeah. 
And like they're really long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny as fuck. Yeah, I look like a fucking idiot, but yeah, this, you know, you got to remember where you parked. I don't know if you got this notification yesterday, but uh, Durex condom sales are on the rise. D U R E X? Yes. Do you know why? You're using them to masturbate? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they're on, they're on the rise. <laughs> the way that you like said it was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're on the rise because uh, COVID restrictions are easing up and people are starting to fuck again. Oh, yeah. Do you remember when COVID first came around? They said you can have anal, but you can't have regular sex. They, that was like a policy? It wasn't like an enforced policy, but it was a recommended Wait, one. Wait, actually? Yeah. Dead ass? They wanted anal instead of regular Shut sex. Shut the fuck up. I promise Joe, you. Joe, you're lying. No, I promise. Tell me you're lying. I'm not lying. Okay, so you're telling me the shit I tell you is fucking nonsense, but you're telling me that that, that, that you're only allowed to have anal and you can't have fucking regular sex? That, An- anal is way more, there's way more bacteria involved with anal than there is in fucking regular sex. Way more. Don't ever tell me that my fucking facts are nonsense. No, I'm pr- I'm, I'm like 90. Joe, I'm- whoever told you that lied to your fucking face. Fauci. <laughs> Fauci did not say that you can only have anal sex. <laughs> what the fuck? Can I finish? Are you out of your mind? Can I finish? <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. They recommended anal sex. No way. You're crazy. Do you want me to prove it to you? Yes. Take your pants off. So, uh, <laughs> 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 no, I'm going to look this up. Actually, you look it up because I don't believe you. I don't believe you for one second. Fine. We recommend anal sex only during COVID. What? Hi, you motherfucker. Avoid sex partners who have symptoms of COVID-19. Avoid kissing. Avoid sexual behaviors that have risk of fecal oral transmissions or that involve semen or urine. Use condoms and dental dams during... Oh, wait. Hang on. Yeah, exactly. Fecal matter is fucking poop. Can I finish? Sure. You said hang on, so that's why I stepped in. We still have a lot to learn about COVID-19 and sex. We do not know if COVID-19 can be spread through vaginal or anal sex. Joe, you're wrong. There's no way. I cannot believe you even brought that up and thought it was a real thing. It was a real thing because I remember <laughs> thinking, this is fucking crazy. Yeah, you go back in my mukbangs. I'm 100% sure I brought it up. Someone lied to your ass, bro. It was pro- you, probably, you probably read the fucking onion. Honestly. <laughs> you probably read a fake newsletter. No one's going to come out and say anal sex is better than regular sex. Anal sex is so much more dangerous. Not that it's better. It's safer. It's definitely not safer. You're literally sticking your dick inside of someone who poops. What are you talking about? (laughs) If poop gets inside of your pee hole, you're fucked. Ugh, you make me so mad. I make you mad. That was literally the most ridiculous fact I've ever heard in my entire life. Cut. No. Editor, cut that out. No fucking way. You're crazy. Note to self, cut that out. (laughs) You're a fucker. (laughs) <laughs> You're actually mad because you know I'm right. No, because I don't have the facts to back it up. Yeah, exactly. You know, we have at least 300 I have people. the facts to back it up every time I say something fucking stupid or funny or interesting. No, you like, don't. You say, let me look it up. Look, yeah, I, but I found it. Quantum quantum touch, found it. It wasn't fucking real. Ro- yes, it is real, Joe. It's a, uh, Roger, found it. You are dumber than you look. But, actually, I'm smarter than I look. I'm way smart. I look like a dumbass, but actually I'm really smart. Is that your stomach making this noise? Yeah, you know what's funny? You know in Call of Duty, um, when you go to the Gulag, for everybody that does not play Call of Duty, you, when you die, you go to the Gulag. And when you're in the Gulag, you're in this chair. You spawn in this chair. You're sitting, you're like handcuffed to this chair. And my friend Alex, he didn't know that if you just move your joystick, you can like release the ch- release and get out of it. Oh, so really? for like a month. Yeah. He'd you always just, just sit there? You just sit in the chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. And like I was, I was, I was spectating him one time, and I was like, "Al, why aren't you moving?" He's like, oh, "I didn't know you could, you could get out of the chair." I was like, "Yeah, bro, just move your joystick, dude." It's not even that you move the joystick; you just press any button any on the button, controller. Yeah, yeah. So for a month, he would just sit there <laughs> and stare at the screen. And when when I found out, dude, everybody died of laughter. That's great. He like admitted he's like, "I didn't know you could," and I was like, "Yeah, dude." What Dang, good for you, Alex. I'm thinking of uh, getting a hair transplant. Are you? I'm thinking of it. Do you want to do it for my YouTube video? Sure. Okay. How much is it? Nine grand. Okay. For how? Did you go get the scan yet? No. So there's this new technology. So usually they take they they take uh, skin and hair from the from back the, of your neck. Back of your yeah, and they like fucking insert the hair like one by one. But I looked into it, and there's like new laser technology that's similar to that. But they don't they don't have to take. Uh, they don't have to like rip a piece off from the back of your neck. Wow! So you're gonna do it? I think so. Yeah. It's oh, that's getting, really good. It's getting pretty bad. No, it's not. Well, it's because I have my 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 bald spots covered right now because I'm like good at it now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but like when I have my hair spiked up or like if I have short hair, it's like fucking game over. I look like I look like uh, Drew from Despicable Me. Well, thanks for telling me. 
I get your skin graph. <laughs> I get your hair. <laughs> like if I just completely off black and brown. <laughs> filled in spots are mine yeah. it's really funny that's fucked up though like because it like you can't get rid of it you know right i'm gonna try and get you it for youtube video would you cry no but you don't have to do that i'll pay for it myself i know you want to but i want to surprise you while you're sleeping <laughs> just have a doctor show up <laughs> the laser is in your room <laughs> is he ready there's like big ass machine it's like it's like a laser beam <laughs> make sure he doesn't move <laughs> Okay, <laughs> you're strapped in. You you put morphine into my blood while I'm sleeping. <laughs> I wake up, my hair's my hair's back. <laughs> wow! All right, cool. My new video. I have a question. Yeah, I probably don't have an answer, so go ahead. So let's say you go get that hair filled back in. Yeah. What happens to the new hair that you start losing? Will you just have gaps in your head? I think I've lost as much as I uh, as I possibly could. That's not true because as you get as you become a grandpa, it'll just dissipate even more. I well, no, because it's all genetic, right? So my dad has the same thing I have. Oh, and, his hair doesn't go further back than yours. No, really? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So it's like it's pretty much done, which is pretty nice to know. You know, like I'm not really gonna have any more. But it's it's, it's interesting because when you get a hair transplant, it's they don't fill it all the way back to norm. They kind of like take it step by step to see if you like eighty percent, ninety percent. No, like sixty percent to see if it works. Oh, and then they go fill in more. Yeah, like Zane's gonna get more hair plugs. Really? Yeah. Zane's gonna look even hotter than he does now. Yeah, and it's 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 so crazy how like fucking good hair makes you look. You know? Yeah, but like my boy gets the most puss and he's bald. Johnny Sins? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's also Johnny Sins. He's also a good looking dude, I think. But no, I, that, that's. Everyone says I look like Johnny Sins. Who the fuck is everybody? A lot of people. Like 50% of the people. Oh, 50% say that 50% I'm not. 50% of the population. <laughs> oh, okay. Makes sense. I'll take it. Today I was running on the street and I was crossing the crosswalk and the cars had a green light in like a second while I was crossing the crosswalk. Okay. I was running. And all of a sudden, this car that's up front is laying down its horn, like eh. on you. Yeah, to me, I'm like, eh. and I was like, "What the fuck, dude? Let me cross. Your light's not even green yet. Chill." And like, it, it's honestly, I have my headphones in, like it's so loud, like right in front of me. I, I'm like, I turn around, like about to scream at this person. I'm so pissed off. I'm like, "Are you fucking serious? Let me fucking cross." I was it's literally Todd. about to get like physical with this person. It's Todd. No, it's not that. It's Mariah. Oh! <laughs> and I turn around. She's all, like, happy, like, waving at me. I'm like, oh, my God. I was about to kill you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, isn't that crazy? That's great. Yeah. And then I just ran off. <laughs> Dang. Check out this photo. Guys, it's a picture of Annalise, but she's modeling a Hawaiian shirt. I found it on Google. I stumbled upon it. Does she know this? She knows it. But the cool thing about Annalise is she's had so many random jobs that I'll just be clicking around on the internet. Or I'll be putting on a movie and she'll just go, oh, that, I might be in there. I'm like, what are you talking about? And I put on this movie called Once Upon a Time in Venice with Bruce Willis. She's like, yeah, I might be in there. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, you're just walking around Venice? He didn't even, he didn't believe me. And I'm like, oh, look, there I am. <laughs> you're like Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg's fucking everywhere. Man. Yeah, that's literally <laughs> Annalise. There's a shot of her walking on the beach. And then there's another shot of her on a rooftop bar right next to Bruce Willis and John Goodman. Oh, that's sick. I'm like, why didn't you ever tell me about this? She's like, I didn't know the movie ever came out. One time I did a, a job and there was a bam, uh, a bamboon? Bamboon? Bam, bam, ba the one baboon. with the red butt. Baboon. Yeah, I was on set. I texted my dad. He's like, because uh, he's a vet. And he's like, just try and not be right next yeah, to that they're thing. Yeah, Because they are so strong. He's like, I don't care if there's a trainer there. Just stay away. And they're always horny. You know, according. Oh, I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, well, according to uh, Dr. Evan Atten. Monkeys are pretty oh. fucking horny. Oh, yeah. They're like Ilias. I saw a monkey, monkey sucking his own dick uh, on a video the other day, and he actually came. Were you jealous? Sucking his own dick. Were you jealous? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, that'd be cool to... What? <laughs> what? Why are you watching that? I just came up on my Instagram feed. He was literally sucking his own dick, and the, and the woman goes... <laughs> she's like, he... What a disgusting animal. <laughs> and one of the comments is like, what? he's not disgusting. You are for watching him. <laughs> 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 it's crazy. The Explore page is curated to your, your wants and your desires. So, Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Well, yeah, what I, else I guess masturbating Look monkeys. to your Explore page right now. I mean, it's going to be boobs and cars. It's really all you Yeah, we already know what he's getting. Have you ever been the ad or the face of anything? Um, No, but I I would honestly love to. Like, uh, There's a part of me that, that thinks that acting is so 
like could be very fun for you. Yeah, like I'd love to go to an audition and like just experience what it's like because it sounds pretty fucking cool. Auditions sound terrible. Waiting in lines. Oh, I hated auditions. Me and Annalise did a lot of couples auditions when we first met. It was the worst thing. We did one for Uber. We didn't get it. We did one for Google. We did. We went to a lot. I was kind of just doing it because I thought we'd get it because it was me and Annalise and we're a couple and they look for real couples. But we didn't get any callbacks. It was the worst. Because you can get a lot of money from a commercial. I haven't bu- I haven't booked any of those big ones. Oh, my God. Should I do one? Or should I go try out for one? We should audition for like... Our, our, can, can you, Joe, can you and I go audition for something? I think that's so funny. Yeah, I would be... I'd be down to spend a day doing it. That'd be fun. Yeah. Uh, LACasting.com. I just think it'd be so funny that you and I doing something. <laughs> Dude, and we'd be so confident, you know, because it's just between you and I, you know? Yeah. And people would be like, this is great. We love them. We'd become huge. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, hug each other. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> We're on like movies and shit. Everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> We're in the next Batman. <laughs> That'd be sick. I'm Batman, you're Robin. <laughs> or vice versa. Yeah, we just started doing commercials. I'm Batman, you're Joke. <laughs> <laughs> we just started doing commercials and it just took off from there. People really loved our chemistry. <laughs> It's funny though because we laugh about it, and like obviously it's it's very hard to do that, but it's possible, you know. Like that, a, a director literally goes, "I love their chemistry. Like bring them back, you know." I got a message from someone. They said they told their mom that you were their role model, and then they showed their mom the Ilya best drunk moments video on YouTube. Oh my god! <laughs> and then they go, "I don't think she understands." <laughs> <laughs> Let me reiterate this one more time. Okay, <laughs> I'm I'm drunk four times a year. Or it just happens to be captured and shown to the world. And you know what? Honestly, that was my choice, and I wanted that to happen. And do I regret it? No. Would I do it again? Yeah. But just know that I only do it four times. What was and the dumbest thing you ever did while drunk? Last, not last Black Wednesday, but the the 2019 Black Wednesday. Black Wednesday is the day right before thir- uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, I love those. Yeah, those are the best. It's, it's literally the best. The best five consecutive days, I think, of the year. Yeah. Black Wednesday, you have Thanksgiving, then you have Friday, which no one really gives a shit about, right? No one's working because it's like in between the ho- in between Thanksgiving and Saturday and Sunday, and then you have Saturday and Sunday. And so I got really drunk on the way on the party bus on the way to the bar, and I I go into the bar, hammered, and like this is in Chicago. We've been to this club like multiple times, so like the security guard like knows me. He's like, "Yo, what's up?" <laughs> and like, dude, I'm so and, like they're so nice there because. I'm running around the whole club drunk as fuck, just like throwing shit, throwing up. And I remember um, this. I was told this happened. I, I don't actually remember this part because I was so drunk. And I step outside of the club and with with glass because they give me a glass of water. And I'm like I get mad at somebody. Somebody's saying something to me, and I just throw the glass in the street. Oh my god! <laughs> and they had to like clean it up. Dude, it was bad. And then, and then after that, I just I don't remember anything. I just went home. Oh, oh, the ride, the ride home was so bad. I had to tell the Uber. To pull, I was in the front seat. I had to tell the Uber to pull over. I'm not kidding. Three times to be able to throw up. You and threw up three separate times in the Uber. Yeah. And then when I finally got out of the fucking Uber, I like stumbled into my lobby, like went upstairs, fell asleep on the couch. I, th- I th- honestly, I was calling Dave. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna fucking die. You need to come get me. Is this when you have your super long hair? I think so, yeah. I wish I knew that, Illy. He seems so cool. So much more careless. Yeah. He was no, great. No more long hair, Ilya. Dang, Sorry. now we're stuck with this, Ilya. Yeah, not as cool. Fuck. <laughs> now comes the time of the podcast where we call you, the listener, to win free buddy. Ilya, who are we calling today? I'm calling this guy Spencer. Hopefully. Ilya, what's up? What's going on? He answered like he knew you were calling. <laughs> Yeah, did you did you know I was calling? Like, Ilya, what's up? When, when are we hopping on God? <laughs> yeah, well, I, when you tweeted out your number or whatever you did, I saved it. I called it a hundred times. Yep. I got pretty drunk with the boys. I called it. I mean, it was stupid, but I figured you'd block me. I did, yeah, but that's okay because I blocked everybody who called me. But I'm calling you back because you messaged the the lightweights account quite uh quite a bit and you've been listening for a while. Let's go. Uh, well yeah, and you're live on the podcast, my guy. You've won five hundred dollars this week. Woo! So congratulations. I'm gonna give you the phone to Joe to say hi. Give me one sec. Joe. Do you guys know each other? Yeah, we're best friends. I have <laughs> Make sure to send over your Zelle or your PayPal or Venmo or however you want it, and then we'll send it over right after. I just texted it. Yeah. Thanks so much. See ya.
Yeah. Bye. That was weird as shit. You guys were way too chill with each other. You sure you don't know him? Yeah, yeah, I don't know him. <laughs> He's calling me back. Now, so. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, we're all good. They believed it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for listening to Lightweights Podcast. My name's Joe. That's my co host. Again, the last episode that you will hear him on, Ilya Fetty. Next episode, Bobby will be co host. And we're giving away your signed autograph plunger on May 6th to celebrate your six months of podcasting. It's official next week. Six oh, months? That is way off by one month. Yeah. <laughs> no, somebody told me. We did the math. It was six months. Uh, no, I... Nope. Somebody told S- me six that... Six months is in June. Uh, I... I Nope. I'm going to trust this person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to trust this person. Okay. Well, All right. Anyways. So go win that plunger, guys. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Ilya. We had a great run. Yep. Uh, thanks for having me, Joe. Uh, I, I I expect that you're not going to be paying me. Not going to be paying you, and I need the garage door opener back. Uh, I gave that to somebody. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Lightweights. Out. Your feet smell.